Hey, Deuce, congrats on the win. Um, did Texas Tech do anything that you hadn't seen previously defensively to try to slow you down specifically today? Um, they did quite a couple of things. Uh, they played me inside out, uh, just trying not to have me get beat across the face of them. Uh, rolled down a safety sometimes whenever I did beat them across the face and stuff like that. Uh, so, I mean, we came out ready, uh, using me for planes and stuff to get people running, stuff like that, and open up big plays for other guys as well, which is, which is great. And th these three games you've had are kind of unprecedented for a Kansas State freshman. I, it's been impressive to watch from us, but is there anything about it that surprised you, just being able to put up this, this kind of number so early? Um, it's... I would say it's a pretty big surprise to do it early uh, as I have. I mean, I'm just taking it day by day, game by game, and just trying to give my team a great chance to win, and they're giving me a great chance to succeed as well. Let's go next to John Kurtz. It's just the, the last big play you had, the touchdown there at the end of the game. Did you know kind of pre-snap that you had the matchup that you wanted there and feel pretty good about it? Um, so we came out and they wanted to blitz and then uh, I ended up hopping out wide and they got jumbled up and put a linebacker on me. They had been putting safeties or uh, like nickels on me throughout the game and then they put 41 on me who was a linebacker and right then I kind of looked at Will and Will kind of looked at me and beat him across his face and then got to running and uh, that's just one thing that I'm going to have to learn to get down uh, before going into the end zone just to, so we can kneel it down and get out of there, uh, not give them another chance. You had 19 touches, I believe, today. You still feel physically like you could have handled even more than that at this point? Like, how's your body feel at the end of a game like that? I feel really good, actually. Uh, of course, a little sore, but that's just football. I feel like I do a pretty good job of protecting myself against hits, whether they be big or little, and just making sure I'm rolling on the ground, not rolling on my shoulder or anything like that, just falling correctly and just taking on hits and absorbing them. Appreciate it, Deuce. Thanks. No problem. Tyler Craft. Hey, Deuce. Um, it's been three games in a row where you guys have had big plays on special teams with blocked punts. When you see that as an offense and those plays happening on special teams, just what does that do for your guys' morale as you're heading on the field? Oh, that just gives us life because we look. And, I mean, the preparation that special teams puts in throughout the week, I mean, I, we'd be surprised if we don't block a punt whenever it comes on Saturday because the preparation that's put in on Monday through Friday just is unbelievable. And whenever they do and we have a short field, we're going to go repay them and say, we're going to get this ball into the end zone for y'all. And then it just gives us life. Let's go next to Ryan Black. Hey, Deuce. Uh, there on that last touchdown, I think I heard on the post-game radio thing that that Coach Kleiman hoped that maybe that you would stop just short of the, the goal line so you guys could run out the clock. Was uh, is there any thought in your mind of doing that? Or is that, is that something you've never done in your life, is not try to go all the that, way for a score? Right. That was something I've never done in my life. But that's just one thing that I have to learn, especially at this level, because anything can happen. That if I'm running down and we have the ball and if we get a first down and get down, we can kneel it out and – walk back into the locker room, not give them a chance. That's exactly what I need to do. Of course, I was in the huddle. But as soon as I got the ball, I feel like my brain just kind of went numb and just kind of go make a play. And then it's just one thing I need to learn, especially, and this is a great learning moment because you never know when it will happen again. So I have to get down and make sure that we secure the win without giving them the ball back. And can you take me through that first, the first touchdown you scored there in the second quarter where you scored off the, the left, left side and just how that kind of unfolded for you? Yes, yeah, so sir. So, really, we're just reading the end. Uh, so, if he squeezes down, get the ball to the edge, and we'll have three blockers out on the outside. There may have been two on this play. But uh, so, just reading, gave the ball off, and then um, I forget who got the block, but he pinned him in. So, I went outside and then just had to use my speed to get around the edge. And then, before I knew it, had the type wrote down the, uh, the sideline. Okay, we got three more hands raised here. We'll do these three, starting with Fitz. I do some going back to that last touchdown. First of all, nice touchdown. Don't listen to coach on that one. Um, at least this time. Uh, when did you know you had the linebacker beat? I saw you do the little jab step off the line and it looked like you got him right there. Uh, but when did it all come clear to you that uh, I'm going to house this one? So they were going to blitz. Uh, it was a big third down. So they're going to come. Uh, so whenever I hopped out of the backfield, it kind of got jumbled around and then kind of threw a linebacker out there. And then I looked across, all the linebackers are up. 
uh, they were going to press man across the board. And then right then I just kind of knew, I mean, it's me against you and then I'm going to take myself every single time. So just set him up, beat him across the face and we'll give me a ball. Uh, last one here, Derek. Yeah, Deuce, we know that your your dad was a football coach in college too. So after games like this, do you get harder coaching from B.A. or your dad? I feel like it's going to be B.A. My dad, I feel like my dad's kind of taking on the dad role now that I'm in college and everything. Uh, but, I mean, B.A., so he's always going to push me to be the greatest player that I can be. So whenever we get back to – film on Monday, it's not going to be, oh, this was a great play or this was a great play. It's going to be, okay, we need to work on this. We need to work on that going into TCU. And that's, I mean, all props to him because, I mean, you could easily say, oh, you had a great game. But then there's things that you don't clean up and then you go into TCU and those flaws get uh, taken advantage of because you didn't try to fix them.